I can remember playing and going and jotting things down after pretty much every single practice. Okay, if I was gonna coach, if I'm gonna coach in 10 years or five years, this is how I do it. This is what coach said today. So I was kind of, I, I was almost working as a coach before I really ever was a coach. I was like a player coach kind of. Not that other players were listening to me, but kind of in my own head. Okay, how would I do this? What would I do with this player? And so when I finally got out of playing and I went and started to talk to different coaches about my experience as a player, I said, listen, this is what I, I've been prepping for this for five years or so five, ten years. And so that kind of helped me transition into the college game. I think having my dad and, and having both of us who've been around the game for a long time, who really had a passion for coaching kids, um, I think that's the number one thing. So if you really love what you do, like I, I come in here every day super excited. A lot of people, when I first got into to, to doing this, people said, you're a professional baseball player, you're gonna go work with young kids, like how are you gonna do that? That's what I really enjoy doing. So that's why I, I knew that I would, I would enjoy it. We've been kind of at eight, nine teams now for a while. I don't want to be a program that has like 20 teams and it's just mass chaos. I, one of the cool things about us is that I get to actually every day see every single kid in the program. So I'm at all the practices. I'm able to see all the kids. I know exactly what's going on. I think that's really unique about our program. And so I don't want to lose that just for the sake of growing the business bigger and bigger. The one thing that I have been trying to grow more, and it's a little bit easier, a little bit more scalable, I guess, is some of the online stuff. So is the YouTube page. Now we do uh, online lessons. So we're able to reach people from not only around the country, but around the world. So that stuff we've grown more. I think it's a little bit easier. You know, when I grew up playing, as a player, you never felt like, you felt like this is my team, right? Like I never, you never think about the business part of it. And as, even as, as running the business, I don't want anyone to ever feel like, oh, this is just a business, right? We want it to be a baseball program. Obviously it's a business, you have to make money or else you know, we're, we're not gonna be here anymore. But uh, my goal was never to become the biggest, baddest program and make you know, millions of dollars. If you wanna do that, um, you know, I don't know if the travel baseball pro industry is, is the right one to go into, but there's definitely some ways that you can grow it um, and scale it. So I had started throwing out instructional videos way back in the day when I was still playing. And so that started to kind of build up a little bit. It was all, you know, if you're a hitter, this is how I, these are the hitting mechanics that I think most major league players use or most successful players use. We did that with everything, fielding, hitting, throwing, everything. I continually got questions about kind of my playing career and I didn't really talk about that a whole lot at the beginning. Um, and so probably like two, three years ago, I answered my first one. You know, people were saying, you know, what's it like playing in the major leagues or what, what type of gear do you get? And so I started answering those questions. That's when kind of the, everything blew up. And then when I finally got into coaching, you know, we did, a, we, I filmed like everything. So our practices, I'd film, I'd put it up, I'd, I'd answer different people's questions. Um, and so when that really started to grow, at this point now, most of the people that hear about me, it's all through social media, it's through YouTube, it's through Instagram. Um, and a lot of programs don't have that. My main focus is on the players and getting the players better. Um, and then the other stuff is kind of secondary, but it, when, when I pay attention to it, when I make sure that I'm hitting it as much as I can, then you know I think that's where uh, the real growth is going. So for the first probably five or six years with YouTube, I was very sporadic. I'd do one post a week, sometimes a bit, you know, video a month sometimes. And then one day, probably about a year and a half, two years ago, I said, I'm gonna do, make sure that at least for YouTube, I do once a day. It took me like six, seven years just to get to like seven, 8,000 subscribers. And I've gone to, you know, 10 times that in a really short amount of time. If you uh, get the kids excited every day to come again, this is like, we're trying to teach, but we want them to have fun. Sometimes people forget about that. Like it's still a game, even though travel ball is, is exploded, right? We're trying to get players better, but we're trying to have fun. Just like we did when we were 10, 12 years old and there was no travel ball, we we're playing little league baseball, right? It comes back to caring about the kids, having passion, getting them better and letting them have fun, make, making sure they're having fun every day. I think the biggest thing for us, and I don't know, I never really set out saying, oh, I wanna make like big change in this. I just wanna make sure that, honestly, everything I felt when I was 12, 13, 14, 15 years old, when I look back at my baseball career, I think about like those years and travel baseball um, had a huge impact on me, not only as, as a player, but getting me better, getting me to the next level, but meeting some of my best friends. I want people to feel exactly like I do, where it's honestly all about the kids, it's all about getting players better, and that's it. I don't want the parents or the kids to ever think anything business-wise. And I think when you do that, the business will be successful, right? If like, if it's completely in the background and no one ever sees it, thinks about it. Travel baseball is probably never going back completely the way it was before, 
But I think as long as we do our part to make sure we're doing a good job and doing right by the kids, then we'll be successful. And, um, and, and honestly, that's what we really care about, our guys that are with us.